Hello everyone, how you all doing? Thank you so much for tuning in and checking this out, for even clicking on the link. I know sometimes it's the hardest part to click and I thank you for doing that. Thank you for clicking. Listen, I want to do a quick video on the importance of understanding that the more money that you're able to put away for your financial future is the most important part of the journey, not the interest rate that you're earning. See, so many people are caught up with interest rate instead of the amount of money that they could put away towards their financial journey. So I'm going to help you address that. That's why the topic of the video is rate of return, right? So for those of you that don't know me, thank you so much. My name is Douglas Aze with Lago Financial Services. I happen to be the CEO and president of this great organization. And listen, in my 20 years of business, I've recruited and worked with so many financial advisors all over the country. A lot of them are making over six-figure income, seven-figure income. So I've helped them and I continue to help them and pour into them and help them become very, very successful That because that's the key. I'm also a member of the Million Dollar Roundtable. I'm a top of the table um, uh, member. So that's a different level. But guess what? Who am I? I'm a guy from West Africa, Nigeria with just a high school diploma, no college degree, no nothing from America. Just came in here and I understood, I, I learned the system and I wanted to get in the financial game and I got in while I was waiting table in IHOP. Somebody gave me their business card and man, I've been doing it ever since. I've never looked back. It's one of the best decisions I've ever made. Of course, it's an easy decision because come on, financial service or working at IHOP. I had to make that choice quick and man, I did. So listen, I want to show you and teach you about money. I actually wrote a book too called Creating Generational Wealth, What the Super Wealthy Know That You Need to Know. Because all I've done is I have a research company that all they do for me is research successful wealthy people. And I'm able to study and understand what they're doing because I know you want to be wealthy, right? If you want to be wealthy, well, you need to know what the wealthy people are doing, right? So that's why I want to, I want to be wealthy. I want to build my wealth. I want to make sure my, my name stays in the future forever and ever, ever legacy generational wealth right so i teach that i teach you how to do it properly securely to do what so that your family can still understand that you are in control the key to wealth is own nothing control everything mindset so let's go i want to show you something real quick let's go ahead and look at it so i'm going to share my screen so you could look at my screen all right so we're here now there's two numbers i'm going to pull up these two guys all right, let me make one bigger. So the first one here, this guy is contributing $12,000 a year into a plan, okay? 12, that's $1,000 a month into a plan. He's earning 5% interest rate. So we're gonna look at the amount of years later and see how that is gonna look for him. The other guy is contributing $6,000 a year and he's earning a higher interest rate, 10%. So the question is, which of these two guys is going to end up with more money in 10 years or in 20 years? Which of these two guys? Which one do you think will end up with more money? The guy with the 10% rate of return or the guy with the 5% rate of return? Which one will end up with more money? So let me answer that question for you. So let's go ahead and look at that. Because I want you to see that the key is it's never the interest rate. It's never the interest rate. It's the money that you're putting away. So let's go in here and build it up for you. So I'm going to put in the first guy. Let's go and let's make him bigger. So the first guy, we're going to take this for 20 years. Wow, 20 years, $416,000. If we did 10 years, $158,000 in 10 years. Folks, that's a lot of money, right? All right, cool. Aiming 5%. So we're going to go back 20 years. All right, 416. The second guy, he's earning a whooping 10% rate of return. 10%. He's taking more risk. The other gentleman ain't taking no risk. 5% compounding is fine. This one, he's getting 10%, but he's taking risk. But no problem. Let's say it stays the same for the whole time. Let's see who walks away with more money. 20 years? Oh, $378,000. But that guy was 415000 with less money, less interest rate, more money going into the pot. 10 years, look at that, 105000 
The other guy, $135,000. You see the difference? Folks, this is what I'm trying to say to you. It's never this guy. It's never the, the interest rate that people are putting in, the 10%. It's never that. It's this guy. The more money you could put away towards your financial future, the better. If you could put away more money towards your financial future, the better for you. So what do we do in our organization? We help our clients find money in places that they're throwing money away unknowingly and unnecessarily. The way you pay your mortgage, right? I could find missing monies from that. The way you contribute to a qualified retirement plan. If you see some of the articles I've posted or some of the things that I preach about why are you putting a lot of money in a 401k plan? Why are you doing that to yourself and your family? The government is going to take half of that money. So why you keep putting money in there? So I could find money there for you that you could use to build your wealth. The third place is taxes. Man, you're paying so much money in taxes. What imagine it is, if you could reduce or minimize the amount of taxes that you're paying out to the government. Man, we've ta we're taxed on everything. Mortgage, we're taxed. Food, we're taxed. Water, we're taxed. Clothing, we're taxed. Income tax, state tax, federal tax. Man, we're taxed to our eyeballs. It's crazy, folks. That's crazy. So if I could help you minimize the amount of pain, the money that you're paying towards taxes, then I could save you a lot, right? We could take that money and transfer it to somewhere that you're going to build more money for yourself. How about planning for your children's college, college education plan? That's another place that I've found people throw money away and they don't even know they're doing it. How about your car that you're buying? Major capital purchase. When you buy a car, when you're applying for a wedding, when you're starting a new business. What if I could show you how to do all those things and do it more efficiently so that now you could take a whole lot of your money and put away towards your financial future? Imagine if you could put away $30,000 a year. Look at how much you have in 20 years. What if you could do, you know, what if you could put away, and remember, I'm not even touching the interest rate. What if you could put away $100,000 a year that's 3.4 million by the time you retire. 3.4 million dollars. A lot of you business owner can do that. But what are you? You start putting money in an account, like a 401k account, where you you start putting money in a 401k account where you're not able. I want to show that video because I didn't show that. I, I wasn't showing the screen, so I didn't use it. Look at that. 100 thousand dollars a year, 20 years. That's $3.4 million. That's a lot of money. You know, I did the other one was 50,000, right? Or 30,000, I did $30,000, a million dollars in 20 years. See, the key is the amount that you are putting away. So many of you business owners making all this money, but you can only put away a little bit of money in a 401k. And you, and, and you think that's all there is? There's, not, there's a lot more to do. I'm gonna show you how to do that so you are well taken care of. Because as the, at the end of the day, when it's all said and done, your families are depending on you to do the right thing. Your future self is depending on you to make the right decision. Then look at 30 years. Oh man, look at that. $6.9 million. That's a lot of money. Mm. So folks, it's awesome. You know, 2.2 million, right? About I know some of you might be like, what? What about me? Ten thousand, six hundred ninety-seven thousand dollars. That's ten thousand dollars a year. So, folks, listen. When it's all said and done, it's all about financial education, financial literacy. Understand this: you owe it to yourself to be wealthy. You owe it to yourself to be wealthy. Give yourself the opportunity to do what? To be wealthy. Don't let nobody control you. I've never heard a broke man, a poor man, have a voice. He has the best idea, but nobody's listening because he's poor. We've heard people that are rich with the worst ideas. They got money. They talk nonsense. And we listen. Why? Because they got money. Folks, you want to change the world? You need to change yourself first. Get paid. Make some money first, and then you could change the world one person at a time.
Thank you so much. I appreciate you. Listen, let's keep rocking and rolling. Keep doing what you're doing. Keep grinding. Don't stop. There's no time to stop until you die. That's when you stop. The day you die, you stop. That's fine. That's dead. But as long as you have breath in your mouth and you could see and you could have vision, let's go, man. Let's make it happen. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much. I'm signing out. I appreciate you. Thank you for tuning in and watching my video. Appreciate it. I don't take it for granted. Again, you can follow me on Instagram at Lago Financial One. You can follow me on YouTube, Douglas Aze. Just put my name on there. Make sure you subscribe too and you check it out as you're watching this. Subscribe. And, and on Facebook. Follow me on Facebook. I'm always I'm there sharing some valuable information to help you. And if you're interested in purchasing my book, it's called Creating Generational Wealth. What the super wealthy know that you need to know. You could get it on my, on my book website, creating generational wealth that info, or you could get it on, on, on Amazon. Try my book website first. You know, I need to get the money, not Amazon. Pay me first. If you can't get it on my website for whatever reason, because you're out of the country, then guess what? You could go on Amazon and do it. <laughs> Love it. Bye bye. Peace.